Today I'm going to give you a video walkthrough of Matthew Casanelli's fabulous workflow for Golden Hour. For those of you that don't know, Golden Hour is that golden hour after the sun rises or just before the sun sets in which you can take fabulous photos. And there are lots of great times to go and do that, but of course, Golden Hour is the best time if you want natural looking light. So, you can calculate this by getting the time of sunrise or sunset and adding or subtracting an hour. And to do this, we're going to talk to Dark Skies Weather API. Dark Skies are very good free API where they provide lots of weather information. So you can even get whether or not it's cloudy and things like that. We're just going to use it to get the sunrise and the sunset times. So the first thing that we need is an API key. Now you can get the API key from Dark Sky. It's free. You don't have to give them a credit card and you're limited to 1000 calls a day, which if you're just using this for something like shortcuts um, and in other automations, it will be absolutely fine. Now I have saved my API key in a file. This allows me to use it in lots of shortcuts. You could also just put it into a text action. If I'd done that, you would be able to see my API key there. The next thing that we need to do is get the location. So it's all very well, for example, of having the location of Buckingham Palace. But if you don't live in Buckingham Palace, this might not be the most useful GPS coordinates that you could give it. The next part then that we do is we call Dark Sky. So the URL is quite simple. It's api.darksky.net slash forecast. And then we give them the API key. Then we give them the latitude comma longitude. Now, this is the simplest call that you can make to dark sky and by default it will give you all of the information. Theoretically you can narrow this information down. It wouldn't make this shortcut any simpler though and so I'm just leaving it with everything. And now here we're just doing a very simple get contents of URL. We've not got any extra headers or anything. So what dark sky gives us back is it gives us lots of information. We're interested in the daily information because that's what contains the sunrise and the sunset times. Now Inside of this, along with some other things, we have data, which is what we're looking for. Now, Dark Sky will actually give us in the daily data seven entries. That's one for every day of the next week. So we just want the first one. We're only interested in today right now. And then we're going to get the variable from that of the sunrise time or the dictionary value because everything is saved as a dictionary. Dark Sky gives us JSON. Workflow is very clever and says, that's a dictionary. I can use that. And that means that we can use it too. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to get UTC time. Matthew mentioned this on the podcast. Essentially, there's one time which is used as the base time for calculating everything. Thankfully, this is very easy to st calculate the start of in shortcuts, because all you do is you put in January 1st, 1970, 00, zero colon zero, 00, and then you type UTC at the end. This date with the specified date parameter can take time zone code as input, which makes it very useful. Then we add the number of seconds until sunrise, which is what Dark Sky gives us. And then we add another hour, okay? Because sunrise starts, it's the start of a golden hour, and then one hour later, it's the end of a golden hour. And then here, after that, we go back and we get today's data, that first item in the list of daily data. And then we get the sunset time and then we grab the UTC time again. We add the number of seconds until sunset. And in this case, we subtract an hour because one hour after sunset is going to be dark. Uh, we want a nice hour before sunset for those golden moments. And then at the very end, we just have show result. This is very simple. And we just say sunrise is at whatever time the sunrise start was and golden hour lasts until one hour after. And the same with sunset. And then when I run this, which you can also do with Siri, then to start with, it will get your current location. This may take a while. So if you're usually always in the same location, I would suggest that you get your location once and then just type in the coordinates. And then afterwards, we get a nice display. So... Sunrise is on the 6th of September 2018 at 6.20 until 7.20 and a golden hour it, uh, is from 18.28 until 19.28 today. So I better go out and take some photos soon.